All right, we're here in Pilot Point, Texas, home of Chad and Susie Chance, and the home of Hoof Watch. And we're gonna do a series of videos for Sheridan, Wyoming at Don King Days. And our judge and clinician is Mr. Lamar Weaver. This is the first time we've had Lamar. He's been on our team, the WCB team, and we're here making this series of videos, and it is 108 degrees. The, the record-breaking temperature, so we'd like that. You're gonna hear a buzzing throughout the whole video series because we had a guy hook us up, the fan guy, with Portacool. He hooked us up with the Portacool fans and made it bearable. So it's gonna be pretty pleasant. You'll just hear a little bit of background noise. The individual in Sheridan is sponsored by Mustad, and one of the classes, and one of the shoes that we have for this class is a front bevel made out of three-quarter half-inch by 12 and a half inches. It measures five and a quarter by five and a quarter. It's set up for an E5, six of them, plain stamp. It's got a Massillet clip. It's a little bit of boxing on both sides in the heels. And it's a double bevel. It's beveled on both sides. We're gonna take one heat and then we'll center punch it because we have to commit for the mass lock. All right, we got about three quarters of a heat. We're gonna bump up the outside. I'll just cool it down a little bit. So I can continue on with my toe. I got a little, almost like a inch and a half in there. So I'll mark it now a little over an eighth inch off center. Just bump it up a little bit so you got, you don't have to be hoping for material for your mass a lot. We'll go to making our bevel. Wanna forge my heel. So now, taking, we're gonna knock that edge off of this side. Come over here on the horn, get it started there, and knock it off of this side. We'll flatten it up. Get that to start twisting so that the edge, the bevel, I get a good line in there. I got a lot of it in there. And what, now what I'll do now is I'll go to the other side. So, just kind of trying to leave me some material for that mass a lot. Safe up that inside edge. He's got safing on it. That brings that check back in the center. Just gonna come in here before I bend it and really make sure I'm nice and flat. I'm gonna 
come here and really push my tong hammer, my tong hand down. Same here. I pretty much got my bevel established in my toe bend and we'll do the outside branch now. Come back and revisit this heel. And push those tongs under the horn. His looked like they were about an inch and a half off the toe. No matter what you do on a bevel, you can't really be too coarse. It looks coarse, but when you go to the other side, you know it won't nail on. I like to use just a little bit smaller so I don't just do so much damage that first go. And then I'll open them up after I got it established. Because you can see it kind of puckers out on the side. Kind of tidy up that heel. And kind of work that safety and right on through that heel again. Pushing my tongs underneath. You can't exactly punch half inch cold, so you, you're gonna have distortion. So you gotta, you gotta start punching it hot, get it in there, and then if you don't wreck it, then you can come and open up the holes. Pushing my, my bevel and getting my edges reestablished. Come way over here on the tip. I've got I'm just gonna come and I've got sort of a blob you can see I'm gonna tighten that up create a mass a lot and then draw it push the material out there to that edge and then push material to the center Take the heel of my hammer and create a ledge. That's giving me something to push against when I start creating the, the ledge, I mean the clip on the edge of the anvil.
All right, you take it. You can you can feel it right there. I'm just gonna come in here. I got a nice, I got a nice point to start with, and then I can just draw it out. What I'm going to do here is just push the base of it back in and establish my toe. Flattening it up. You gotta go over the heel twice. Once to put the bevel in, and then once to get your safing in. I'm always flattening, trying to keep my width, because it's a very abnormal section for a bevel. It's it's almost square, so you, you're always fighting and, and struggling to get that width of stock. Hands off of it. I think we got it about where we want it. <laughs> 